But now, particularly, I think, with the possibility of building quantum computers, this uh, attempt to understand how large systems of quantum mechanical objects behave is becoming extremely important because a quantum computer is a device which is built out of qubits. So remember, a qubit, an example, would be an electron, which has this property that when, when you make an observation of the spin, let's say, of this electron, it behaves like a, a coin. It can be up or down, heads or tails, however you want to describe it. But that thing can also uh, exist in a, in a superposition, a combination of these things. And it's a perfectly valid configuration. And you, you use that. That's the kind of property that you use in building a quantum computer. You can also then ask the question, well, what happens if I get another one, um, a two, two electrons together? These can be in what's called a, an entangled state. So then you have a much richer structure of this physical system. So an example of an entangled state, uh, a very famous thing called a Bell state, would be where you set these things up. So the system of these two qubits, let's say they're up and down these spins, right?